بالقرآن اهتدي في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتاي أسلمت روحي للإله My name is Yusuf Chambers. I'm 50 years of age. I embraced Islam at least 20 years ago. I live in Britain. I actually live in Leicester right now. And I'm the founder and one of the trustees of Islamic Education and Research Academy. And I'm so happy to be a Muslim. The reality is that um, there was no life there was no life because how can you have a life if you have no purpose if you have no uh, if you go on a journey you yeah. see I know. and I tell you on that journey I'm just traveling but I, I don't have a destination does this make sense we don't e we don't even ask who put us on, uh, who put us on that uh, journey it's like Methelen, it's like being locked in a dark room with your hands tied, with your, your eyes are covered, your ears are blocked, your mouth is gagged. And you know, like that's for 26 years I was in that room. And then one day, when I thought that I'd found everything, you know, with this particular companion, you know, she just told me, look, tomorrow I don't really want you to come to my place. Don't come here. And I said, well, why would a person who cares about another person so much tell them to leave? It doesn't make sense. So she said to me, well, you know, it's got something to do with my religion. So I said, look, either your religion is wrong or you're wrong. There can't be two ways about it. You know, it's either you're, you're wrong or your religion is wrong. You've chosen the wrong path. So she said to me, you know, don't cuss my religion. Don't be angry with me over my religion. I said, look, okay, I'll think about it. So I would, wanted to seek out her religion so I could get her to like me more. For two weeks, I read about Islam. I read about every aspect of Islam, from the Salah, from the Quran, from the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the Sirah, from the history, from every aspect of Islam for two solid weeks. I did nothing but read about Islam. And after reading, One day, I took the decision after reading about Ramadan, about the Siyam, about Siyam, Siyam Ramadan, that I would do the I would do the Siyam. So that day was the day. Subhanallah! It was like somebody had removed the blindfold from my eyes. When I was fasting for in the Ramadan, fasting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in that month, on that day, it was like somebody opened the doors of that dark room I was sitting in and they removed the blindfold, they took the, you know, the cotton wool out of my ears, I, they removed my gag and I could see everything clearly. The moment really of awakening for me was fasting in the month of Ramadan. The barakah, the blessing that you find, I mean, you, 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 only, you can only really taste the sweetness of faith 
when when you're calling people to Allah I, I, the, the best moments are when somebody realizes and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he opens the heart of the person and you see it in front of you and you're cut you start to cry because you can't you know this is nothing to do with you this is something that happened between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the person's heart really when I am not I, I if I if I am not giving dawah if I'm not talking about dawah if I'm not learning the dawah I become sad